Earlier this month, a team from the World Bank visited the island to gain first-hand insights into the progress of the Caribbean Digital Transformation Project. In addition to meeting with the project team and officials from the Ministry of the Public Service, including the Permanent Secretary, the World Bank team visited the Vidbute Primary School, which features one of the 20 smart classrooms provided by the project. Liril Arthur Stanislas, principal of the Vidbute Primary School, highlighted that the smart classroom has enabled teachers to implement innovative teaching methods, offering students new and engaging learning experiences. After we were hit with COVID, we were introduced to such a different world and we recognized the need to put things in place, not only for students who are present on the compound, but for also, for also for students who, for whatever reason, are unable to be at school. So with this smart class, we can reach every single child, no matter where they are. So for us, we were so thankful that we were able to get this donation from the World Bank. It is something that opens up so many doorways for us. It also gives us the ability to reach out to our students with special needs, to give them the tools, the online tools that they need to make learning better for them. Accompanying the team to the live demonstration of the Smart Classroom was Anthony Avril, Executive Director of the St. Lucia Blind Welfare Association. Avril noted, that this donation will significantly ease the challenges faced by students with varying needs, as they can now be accommodated directly at the school. Instead of having to bus the children back to, this, to the Blind Welfare Association, when we know that they are being accommodated right within the class, their classroom, and within their schools, and of course, um, the we can then focus on uh, moving to the next level. My teachers are arguing as to who is coming in when they're coming in, because everybody wants to be here. I think that's something we learned today, and it's um, a very important also uh, agenda for inclusion. Marula Haddad, Senior Digital Development Specialist and Task Leader for the Caribbean Digital Transformation Project, expressed her delight at witnessing the project's transformative impact on the school environment and they enhance the learning experiences it has created. It's, 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 it's really marvelous. It's nothing, no experience. I mean, we go, we come to visit uh, and speak to the government, to our counterpart, but there is nothing like uh, being in, in, in the classroom and seeing really the challenge. I mean, um, we were challenged and uh, it's not easy to follow on these, uh, you know, tablets. So uh, it's, it's good also to see what are the students experiencing in this uh, smart classroom. And I think the most, one of the most, um, touching things is that this is used to cater for different needs. The team also visited the Innovation Lab at the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, which is said to benefit from the Caribbean Digital Transformation Project. The World Bank team commended the local project team for the significant progress made thus far, while also highlighting the remaining work to be completed before the project's conclusion in 2026. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reported.